Hello and welcome to another special video review and today well uh, today is gonna be uh, different uh, as it's not related to transformer at all and I just wanted to make a um, special issue <laughs> video so yeah this is not nothing to do with transformer I just uh, picked this up because I was uh, intrigued and I was curious and I love the uh, do-it-yourself kind of stuff so this is uh, not sure about the Gang Toki Wan, Tang Tai Kuan thing, but it's a dia do it yourself spider stainless steel puzzle kit model thing. So yeah, basically it's a uh, nice big spider made of entirely metal and you have to put it uh, to assemble it yourself and yeah, looks really cool. So let's open up the box. There's nothing really on the box, nothing tells you what it is, it's all in Chinese of course, because I got this from a Chinese website, so nothing in the box, let's throw this aside. So inside we have uh, this stuff, so it's, yeah, we've got instructions right here, and I think uh, more instructions somewhere else, yeah right here. So you have the Chinese instructions, which, you know, was pretty uh, standard, because I ordered this from a Chinese website. So yeah, it's cool, uh, seems to be helpful enough, but you also have a print of English translated transla uh, instructions, so that's pretty cool. That's the first time I ever see uh, stuff in English ordered from a uh, Chinese website. So yeah, we got basic instructions, basically it's the same sheets as the other ones, but this one is all, tra all translated. So yeah, you can see the final result is a uh, nice looking spider, all in metal. So, let's move these aside. Uh, and here we have pieces. So we have tons of screws and sort of rivets. So yeah, I'm gonna have fun time with this. <laughs> so we have this. We have uh, here uh, all of uh, other parts. These seems to be like legs part. So we have numbers, so it's, uh, it will help with the uh, assembly. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we have some more parts right here. So they are, they are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have Steel Warcraft. That's... That's the name that was given on the website, but I was pretty sure it was just a badly translated version of uh, steel craft. And mm. but it is uh, actual uh, diecast uh, stainless steel metal. So yeah, really cool. And we have another part right here. So well, yeah, can't wait to assemble it and see uh, how it works. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna assemble it fully on screen. I'm just gonna start off camera and depending on the difficulty level, I might show how it works. But uh, yeah, I'll just come back afterward. All right, so I'm just starting and uh, yeah, so far it's really easy. It's just like sliding stuff into other stuff and without any problem. So I just got this part right here. And just to show you, I'm at part 21. So I'll just look on the sheet. And I need a 21, so this one is a 21, so I'll just unstick it. I just uh, take a look if there's no sticky residue on the piece, because uh, it happened once. And then you just slide in, just go like this, like this. Oh wait, I forgot. I need a 24. So this is part 24. No residue, so just slide it in and then slide back the number 21 like this rinse repeat until uh, all the part is done so that's pretty cool so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna keep continuing so number 24 right here all right after 21 it's 17 17 is this one so like this slide it in yeah there you go so, so far, so easy. All right, I'm gonna continue this off camera and come back later on. So I've continued with the legs and they are uh, oof, sort of uh, hard to do because <laughs> they have a really tiny part of the, the, the screws, the rivet stuff and yeah, everything in here, uh, really hard. 
Uh, you can tighten them up as you want, so you can have looser or uh, much tighter. So, yeah, right now I'm just not putting them like super uh, tight because I want to, you know, pose the figure as I want. I've got the abdomen pretty much created here, it's just not uh, screwed in anymore. So, yeah, I've got the abdomen. And this is the hard part, like, you have to figure out what screw you need, because there's um, three t three uh, length in screws. I mean, the long one, it's easy, but the medium and the small one are really close together, like, uh, uh, as size goes. So, it's kind of really disappointing. Well, not disappointing, but uh, hard to figure out which one it's needed. Luckily, we have the instruction that tells you, like, the smaller one, the orange, goes for the tip of the legs. The blue one, which is the middle one, goes for these right here. And the green one, the longer one, goes for the head, I guess. So, yeah. Luckily, I have this uh, right here. I do have the instructions, so we do have the legs, how to build. We have big legs and small legs. I built two big legs so far and yeah the thing is one of my first problem and uh, yeah I don't have the tools to assemble it uh, correctly so in the screenshots we have two levers right here that shows how to you know screw the thing in but the thing is I don't have the levers at all so I looked everywhere not in the box not in the sticker sheet thing they're nowhere to be found so yeah I have to make do so I've got a flat nose pincer these work pretty well so if I come like right here the uh, part where uh, this the, the lever had to um, hold on to you can just ha grab onto it with the pincer and give it a twirl so now it will become tighter like uh, how uh, this is supposed to be like this just hold it, give it a twirl, yeah. and now it's tight, a little bit too tight, so I have this part, but yeah, it's, it's not that hard, so it's basically just rivets with uh, two flat side where the lever used to uh, slide onto, but a flat side you can just easily grab with these pants are, I got Two, so one on each side when it, I really needed to tight it, but the instruction says not to put them too tight because it can break. So, yeah, right now I just have two legs, and I'm gonna continue with uh, the other ones. <laughs> so I think I got a good chunk of the spider done. So I'll put the two legs and the abdomen on, plus that thing right here, which is still loose, but uh, it's coming along real nice. And it's quite heavy for uh, just as it is it right now. One thing though with the instructions, um, really mad about it. But uh, yeah, instructions shows here for these screws. So you have the tiny one orange, the medium one blue, and the longer one green. Now, as you can see here, for the legs you have to take uh, oranges for the joints of the leg except for the two last which are blue and then blue all the way around right here to hold the legs and the green ones for the head problem is uh, so right here they tell you to use a blue right here on that joint but you can see it's loose uh, it's uh there's some looseness to the joint for some reason so I don't know I just used it anyway and just kept to the instructions but now as I come to the assembly I ran out of medium long uh, screws so now I cannot um, put the legs in so this really bothers me so then I notice we can just remove the pin right here the medium one and insert a small one the small one works so yeah, instructions are not really good. So use orange or the small ones for the four joints of the legs, and then you're probably gonna have enough for the torso and everything else. So yeah, things happen. So now I have to uh, remove them all for uh, replacing them with smaller ones. So yeah, still it's coming along real nice. So yeah, next update. 
And I'm pretty much done. And uh, yeah, took a couple of hours. Was uh, challenging to say the least without the uh, proper tools. You know, I was oh, I was using the flat nose pliers to screw the the screws. But um, yeah, it would have been much better with the actual uh, tools. Uh, the abdomen is a little bit loose, but I can tighten that up a little bit. Uh, the head, there's no real way to put it uh, more secure, I guess. But all the um, legs and uh, can are really tight, really good, and it weighs pretty, uh, pretty hefty weight. <laughs> so yeah, really cool figure. Uh, I did order another one different from a different company, but the same basic, um, uh, well, it's a mechanical spiders with parts and stuff. And uh, from the uh, board, I only have like one piece left for some reason. I checked everywhere and I am not missing anything. And I've got a bunch of screws left. So, yeah, I got one big screw and a bunch of uh, smaller uh, ones, uh, leftovers. But I was exactly um, on the nose of the the number of medium one that was needing. So yeah, I dropped one on the floor, thinking that uh, I had uh, more. I just didn't bother looking for it, and no, I went back to look for it because I needed that medium screw badly. <laughs> it was the, the last screw I needed to uh, finish the uh, figure. So yeah, really cool figure. Abdomen moves. Uh, each leg's independent. Uh, from each other also have one two three uh, three joints on each uh, on each legs so yeah a really freaking cool figure can't wait to get the other one should arrive in the next few days so yeah I might do the same video so um, yeah nothing else to say so um, thank you for watching and uh, like subscribe leave a comment I'm gonna have tons more uh, interesting exclusive stuff real soon and you don't want to miss it thank you for watching see you next time <laughs>